Today's trash cleaning technology ranges from huge plastic eating yachts to small river skimmers in ocean rubbish containers. Cleaning up the waters has several advantages, and technology is available to do it. Scientists think humans get their oxygen from marine plants. Phytoplankton, small sea plants that dwell near the surface and travel with the currents, provide most oxygen. Their food is produced by photosynthesis, using light and CO2. Photosynthesis generates O2. Let's start with a 56-meter sailing ship that gathers and processes garbage at sea. In addition to feeding on plastic garbage, the manta can scavenge smaller material from the seabed. It has four collecting mechanisms to help the manta clean up the waters. Three floatable collecting devices gather surface garbage across a 46-meter span. Two smaller, multifunctional collecting boats are on deck to gather the rubbish from the ocean's shallowest and narrowest areas. Two lateral cranes remove the most visible floating trash. At the same time, Manta's garbage collecting conveyors bring the trash aboard. The Manta will gather up to three tons of debris each hour on land. A trash to energy device on board turns accumulated rubbish into power. This electricity will fuel the Manta's electrical apparatus. The trash to electricity conversion method is pollution free. The Manta will process about 95% of gathered waste using three sustainable approaches. Garbage will be packed and sent to local waste treatment or recycling companies. In addition to waste to energy unit, two wind turbines and two hydro generators will meet the Manta's power needs. The ship's renewable energy supply allows it to run without fossil fuels and leave a small carbon imprint. The Manta will be built in 2022. The first model will be finished in two years and deployed in dirty rivers by 2024. It will be used in contained estuaries and river mouths. A crucial aspect of the marine ecosystem, the Manta's goal is to gather 5 to 10 tons of trash every year. In fact, the seas get 17 tons of plastic each minute and we may need much more to adequately address the vast amount of debris. The Four Ocean Mobile Skimmer is the next on the agenda, which is a smaller boat that can clean the seas just as well. With the aid of the Four Ocean Mobile Skimmer, Four Ocean has collected over 7,000 tons of rubbish from the seas. With retractable arms that may stretch up to 4 meters, the Mobile Skimmer has a vast reach with a tiny footprint. These retractable arms gather garbage and transport it to the skimmer's front. The rubbish is then transported by conveyor belt into a sizable super sack that can store up to 100 kilograms of trash. A crane connected to the skimmer's deck pushes the super sack out of the way. It is then changed, and the skimmer continues to clean. After collecting millions of kilos of garbage in Florida, it's moved to Central America. The four Ocean Harbor skimmers wanted to clean up rubbish from marines and ports globally in 2020. By 2021, four oceans will also be cleaning the world's beaches. They unveiled the Beebot in July 2021, a beach cleaning robot that eliminates plastic garbage and other detritus without damaging the local ecosystem. Most plastic garbage enters the oceans through rivers. Some of it is carried by ocean currents to one of five prominent trash patches. This project seeks to eradicate 90% of floating plastic by 2040. In 2018, they began with the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the world's largest concentration of plastics. The concept was to build an artificial shoreline with rubbish retention zones to gather the waste from two large ships. The vessels will move slowly, causing the floating plastic to travel faster. This creates trash concentration zones that get trapped in the retention zone. Their initial gadget, System 001, lasted four months in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but it couldn't hold plastic and washed up on the beach. After two years of testing, the ocean cleanup has developed a 600-meter system 002, dubbed Jenny. It will be deployed in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in August 2021 and can clear up to 52,000 square meters per hour, or 10 football fields. Over the next two years, a fleet of 60 similar devices will be deployed throughout the Great Pacific Garbage Patch to remove half of the plastic in five years. Although only 5% of ocean rubbish is in the five main garbage areas, the idea has received much praise. Not only must these areas be cleaned, but plastic must be intercepted before it enters the water. So the interceptor, a new cleaning device, will be added to the ocean system. It's a robotic trash extraction technology for the world's most polluted waterways. The ocean cleanup found that 1,000 rivers account for over 80% of all riverborne plastic garbage in the ocean. Under optimized conditions, the interceptor can extract up to 100 tons of trash per day. It runs a renewable energy and is self-sufficient seven days a week. The ocean cleanup seems to be tackling plastic pollution from the source to the sea. Seabin, also known as the ocean's garbage can, 
is fast being put in marinas, port, and yacht clubs. The Seabin initiative aims to prevent waste from entering the sea from marinas and ports. Their unique Seabin V5 catches all marine trash within a 50 meter radius. The Seabin collects water from the surface through a catch bag. A 25,000 liter per hour water pump draws water into the Seabin, trapping trash and debris in the catch bag. A Seabin can capture 3 kilograms of floating waste each day, including microplastics. The container also has absorbent pads for surface oils and detergents, common in most marinas worldwide. A 20 kilogram catch bag inside of the bin means it doesn't need to be changed often. Because of its simplicity, a sea bin's daily operational cost is around $1. Sea bin is being used internationally to combat ocean plastic pollution. Over 1,100 sea bin devices are presently working in 53 countries, capturing over 3 tons of rubbish per day. A sea bin officially combats one fundamental cause of ocean plastic pollution. How long will it take to clean now? The ocean cleanup hopes to eliminate 90% of floating plastic by 2040. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and comment on what we should cover next. Until next time, peace.